So the Necrophosis demo recently updated and there's a whole bunch of new stuff and a bunch of changes. I'm going to showcase that in today's video. So buckle up for some spooky shit. Howdy everyone. My name is Escape Pac-Man and welcome back to Necrophosis. We're going to play a new game and I will highlight the things that are different from the previous playthrough. To see a world in a grain of sand. Right, so the intro is still exactly the same. Oh, there he is, the big man himself. The lone and level sands stretch far away. Okay, bye. Alright, so we have a few, few things to do first. Um, left shift run. So uh, it looks like so far this is all the same. We have this thing which we'll put in our inventory, which goes to King Dude, somewhere over there. Um, now let's do this brain first. Take that. Oh, it doesn't not let me back up. It doesn't let me back up again. Oh, wow. So last time it let me back up. It won't let me do that now. Sweet. Okay, so there's the candle. You can't light the candle. But you can take this coin. I can't... I don't remember if this is the same coin as last time. Actually, I don't think we got an angel coin last time. Cool. I'm gonna take it anyways. What's up, big guy? Previously... Oh, there's a dude up there, too. I didn't notice that. Yeah, previously, these, some of these gods, all of these gods were all sitting up. None of them were, like, laying over. Interesting. Ooh, this is new. Interesting. The tongue is full of carvings rendered in an ancient script that reveal the following. The perpetual fate of consciousness. In this world, every being is condemned to suffer at the edge of unexistence, unable to live, and unable to die. Each corpse one encounters, each desecrated remnant stepped upon, belongs to a being that decayed until it reached a state of eternal unlife. They cannot die, they cannot rest, not even see, speak, move, think, or feel. Though they still exist, they are entirely unable to be. In this vulgar spiritual condition, the last fragments of consciousness eventually merge with the maelstrom. The maelstrom is a vortex of fear, pain, and anger, compounded from the suffering of all beings trapped in this realm. To witness this torment, one need only look up. Okay. Nice tongue, bruh. So look up. It's just swirling vortex of doom. Okay. Ooh, I like the new inventory. That's cool. Thanks, I hate it. That looks like this one. You're the V, which is that. Which makes you... Skull and crossbones looking thing. I'm gonna back the fuck out of the way. Oof. Oh, it's huge. Oh, the walk cycle looks better this time. Oh, it it doesn't disappear this time. It's just moved. Now there's dudes sticking out of it. There's that guy. Ah, our ancient eyes behold the rare sight. A lone wanderer entering You're talking? our desert domain after eons untold. Bound by the unyielding grip of Necrophysis, we, the Elder Gods, Oh, you're talking. surprised by your presence. Few like you have dared to tread this path. Yet, 
Here is town. A glimmer of hope in our eternal suffering. Should you choose to aid us in our plight, but the audio moves now. From his eternal servitude, we shall grant you passage to your destination. So previously, the audio only came from this skull, and now it comes from each of the living old gods. I'm guessing, like, this one died. Like, died, died. Same thing with that guy over there. Weird. But okay. Cool. The screen shake when he steps is cool. I think that's new as well. Oh, poor Kanum. Shunk, shunk. Nom nom. Then it opens all the way up again. And the horns are gone. So it's just a skull sitting there. And this game is hard on my computer. <gasps> Big guy does stuff. What are you yonking about? You just sounding your own horn? That was new. That was really cool. Oh, hi. You're new. A thin piece of flesh affixed to the spine has the following etched upon it. Enslaved loyalty. All beings must rot here, but that does not mean they are entirely powerless. As such as the elder gods, formidable beings who, in a fit of rage, chose to imprison one of their most valuable pawns, Kanum. A cruel act not for amusement or pleasure, but to serve as a stark reminder that some beings, even in a place like this, will always remain beneath the gods and must endure their whims. Kanum's strength was envied by men and feared by lesser gods. However, due to his unwavering devotion, the older gods always viewed him merely as a tool to be used. As his consciousness deteriorates, one must wonder what Kanum will become. His fate grows increasingly uncertain. Okay. Because I like that. That's a really cool addition. It adds some depth to the story. Ah, I see something else that's changed. So the previous demo that I played didn't have red face of bow over there um let me double check this area before we move on Ooh, hey i see another tongue to read from written in an archaic language the inscription on the tongue unfolds the following at death's door the gate of bone looms tall menacing and foreboding adorned with the corpses and remains of lesser gods it serves as a grim symbol marking the commencement of a grueling journey and an eventual execution. Beyond it, amid the bodies and decay, reside creatures of the highest power, desperate beings full of spite. Though their power is exhausted, remain not to be trifled with, for they bide their time, waiting to unleash the last remnants of their hatred driven not by any grand purpose, but solely to thrive in futile chaos. Passing through ensures one's elimination. However, it is the only pathway that leads to the true framework of demise. Cool. Okay, so I think that's it for the main demo area. Now we are going to 
get into free cam mode and check out the rest of this. So give me one moment to get into free cam mode. Okay, now that we're in free cam mode, we can enter here without ending the game because this is still just a demo and as soon as dude steps through those gates, uh, credit rolls, so. I don't know if these are new or not, but they are definitely creepy. I love this world so much. So much creativity. Ah, oh, we got two bodies merging here? Yeah. Is there anything new? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> it's inside of this circle. Ah, yes. Inside of this circle it turns this color. So where that stairway was is now this guy's face. I wish I could bring the player model out here, see if anything's actually interactable. So what used to be the stairway is now this spire and whatever this face is. I'm sure he would like give you some kind of task. And anyway, let me go through your face. Oh, there's like a, there's a tongue and gums and teeth in here. Uh, there's no tongue, but there's teeth and a mouth to walk through. I'm guessing this rip here opens and you walk through it into this. Ah! Hmm. So this is the other side of that stairway. Okay. And then we come to the. F Hall of Faces, and this chair, that's new. Uh, do we still have the Underworld Disco? Oh, he's sad. It's just the one guy now, and not a whole group. Alright, let's go check on our creepy guy. Oh, creepy guy's gone. Tentacle face is gone. Still got our bones. Let's go down here. Bone is gone. And you're now out here. Still creepy and empty. But you're out here now instead of in there. And... What? The hell am I looking at? No idea. Ooh. Color shift. Everything is in black and white. And then there's this. Whatever this is. Interesting. Is our big guy still here? Oh no! Big guy's gone. Where has big guy gone? So let's go through the tunnel throat. Oh! The worshippers are gone. That's interesting. Why are the worshippers gone? And on to the big man himself. Oh, your summoning party has gone. Yeah, your summoning party's not here anymore, but the skull's still here. These faces are still creepy. And is the big shrine to Osmandius gone? Huh. Looks like the big Osmandius shrine is gone. Uh, previously, it was out here in the sand. What? Oh, you're missing a texture on your forehead. Cool. So, that is the update to the Necrophosis demo. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you like this game, leave a like, share it with a friend if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.